Hello guys, welcome to Tips, a platform for textile problems and solutions. Now we are going to learn about the tensile testing. Tensile testing, there are three categories. They are tensile testing of fiber, tensile testing of yarn and tensile testing of fabric. Importance of tensile testing. It is to know the level of strength of material, important for industrial and technical products and also in household and apparels. Tensile testing, fiber bundle strength. In man-made fibers, individual fiber strength is measured because there is less variation in length and fineness. But in case of natural fibers, bundle strength have to be tested because there is high variation in length and fineness. Tensile strength or tenacity of fiber can be found by breaking load in kilograms multiplied by length of the sample in millimeter upon mass of the sample in milligrams. Terminology is related to tensile testing. This is the load elongation curve of a fiber. This is also known as stress strain curve. The point at which the fiber break is called as a breaking point and that load is termed as a breaking load. The elongation at that point is termed as a breaking elongation. Stress is equals to force upon area and strain equals to elongation upon initial length. Specific stress. It is the ratio of force upon linear density. For example, a 10 tick yarn is given a force of 110 Newton. Its specific stress is given by 110 upon 10 that will be 11 Newton per tick. Breaking length. It is the ratio of breaking load upon linear density. For example, a 10 tick yarn breaks at a load of 150 gram force. Its breaking length is given by 150 upon 10 that will be 15 km that is resistance per km. It will be equals to gram per tick. Work of rupture. This is a stress strain curve that is load elongation curve and the area under the curve is termed as a work of rupture that is the energy required to break. So it will be written as integral of zero to break f dot dl. Its unit is gram per denier or gram per tex. But by Hooke's law, it is given as half of breaking load into breaking elongation. Work factor. Work factor is the ratio of work of rupture upon breaking load into breaking elongation. So substituting work of rupture as half of breaking load into breaking elongation, work factor will be 1 by 2 that is 0.5 for ideal elastic material. Work factor can be plotted in graph that is indicated. Cotton, jute, flax, rami, hemp has work factor of 0.5 and silk, wool, nylon, viscose has 0.6 and acetate has 0.72. Elastic recovery. Consider ABB the initial length of the yarn. It is extended to BD and the recovery is from D to C. BC be the permanent set. So elastic recovery can be written as ratio of CD by BD. For perfectly elastic material, CD equals to BD. So elastic recovery will be 1. And for perfectly plastic material, this recovery will be 0. So it will be 0.